All right, you guys, so for today, I have a bit more in-depth topic, which is micronutrients. So stay tuned. So this is something that a lot of people just ignore during their diet, think it's not important. But believe me, it makes a drastic difference in your body. So what exactly are micronutrients? They're called micronutrients as because they're divided in smaller pieces than macronutrients, which are your proteins, carbohydrates and fats. And one of the other reasons why they're called micro is because they're measured in milligrams, while macros are more into grams. So micronutrients, you divide them into minerals and vitamins. Minerals are inorganic and vitamins are organic. So starting off with the minerals, you can divide them into macro minerals and important trace minerals. So yeah, as you can see here, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chloride, and magnesium are all divided into macro minerals. So you need more of those minerals. While important trace are very crucial for sustaining your life normally, your health balance and everything. But yeah, like if you include fruits and vegetables in your diet on a daily basis in adequate amounts, you'll for sure have an adequate amount of each and every mineral. So in important trace, you have iron, cobalt, copper, zinc, iodine, selenium, and this whatever you can call it, I don't know how this is even pronounced, molybdenum, whatever. You don't have to overcomplicate things and get into detail with each and every one of these. So I'm gonna show you like what exact foods you need to eat and how much on a daily basis. So you know you have an adequate amount of these on a daily. And when it comes to vitamins, you have fat soluble and water soluble. The fat ones are converted in your body by fat and the water ones are converted by water. Why did I like mark these ones in blue and red? It's because fat soluble so those are a d e and k vitamins you can simply over consume on them on a daily basis they can become not healthy but more toxic to your body and water soluble they're much harder to overdose on as i said uh, they're converted by your water so those are like b complex you have supplements b complex so they contain usually all the B vitamins you have and vitamin C. So yeah, as I said, keep in mind not to overdose on fat soluble ones, but they're also very crucial for uh, sustaining a healthy lifestyle. So these are the vitamins that usually people supplement with, but you better be careful and actually know how much the actual dose uh, is that you're taking during the day. So you don't wanna be like, for example, taking vitamin D supplements, which you can get only from natural sunlight and it's hard to get from food. Someone who's exposed to sun on a daily basis too much plus taking the supplements maybe even eating some foods like fish which contain vitamin d which all add up and better be careful with that it's like no joke so this is exactly where the war begins in the fitness industry if it fits your macros and healthy diet so which one is better actually if it fits your macros is a simply a diet that follows so that you hit on a daily basis your energy balance so meaning your calories and your macronutrients but anything that has to do with micronutrients you don't actually track so the overall approach of people who follow this diet is let's say for example if you were to eat 50 grams of carbs coming from oats and coming from gummy bears so oats have a lot of vitamins and minerals in them while the gummy bears don't have anything but still they accept it as 50 grams of carbohydrates being the exact same level just because it's 50 grams of carbohydrates. So don't, they don't count micronutrients, which is a totally like wrong approach if you ask me. But yeah, if you follow, uh, if it fits your macros diet, it won't uh, like impact much of your body composition. So meaning your looks, but your health will be highly impacted. And over time, if you stick to a, if it fits your macros type of a diet, and you only eat junk food during the day, as long as it fits your macronutrients, then you will be making progress, but your health will be suffering. And if your health suffers, your looks suffer with time. So it's simply pointless. If you ask me, you'll feel like absolute shit during the day. So yeah, you guys, if you're looking for full benefits of health and also looking as good as possible, stick to a normal healthy diet like don't don't follow this if it fits your macros thing i've been following it like during my fourth and fifth year of training 
I did see a lot of progress in my body and stuff like that, but yeah, I, during the day I just felt like garbage. And not just mood swings and energy balance swings, but also your skin. You look way worse, you feel way worse, so I don't really advise it. But hey, if you enjoy eating junk food, still, you shouldn't be 100% on a healthy diet. I mean, it's all a mental game. I'd maintain an 80% healthy diet, 20% give yourself a break and grab a snack you enjoy like every now and then, it won't hurt you. So speaking of micronutrients, fruits and vegetables are the foods that will be actually bringing you all the minerals and vitamins. So you want to make sure you take adequate amount per day. A person who's 1000 to 2000 calories in a daily intake should take at least two cups per day so bare minimum two to three thousand calories on a daily basis is three cups three to four thousand calories is four cups so that's a general rule of thumb you need to follow in terms of fruits so when i mention cups i mean cups of each so two cups of fruits and two cups of vegetables for someone who has up to two thousand calories per day and also you don't want to be like eating only one type of fruit or vegetable you always want to change things up and last but not least the most important thing is water so you simply can't live without water and the amount you need to take during the day uh, will vary on your body weight how physically active you are or is it summer is it winter are you sweating too much during the day and yeah it's very important because you know 80 percent of the human body is made up of water so a healthy range of being hydrated is if you have around five urinations during the day and if your urine is clear, that's just your body giving you a sign it's well hydrated. So three to six liters of water per day for an average human is more than enough. So if you're, let's say a woman who doesn't weigh as much as a male and isn't that much physically active, you're all right with only three liters. On the opposite side, if you're a big male, and you train a lot, you're physically active. Plus, if it's summer or something like that, where you sweat a lot, you'll need most probably around six liter. So you guys, that's all you need to know about micronutrients. I hope this wasn't too like in depth for you. Like, as I said, you don't need to wrap your head around too much about macro minerals, important traits. Just follow these general guidelines that I told you in terms of water intake and how much of cups per day based off of your calorie intake, should you intake of fruits and vegetables, and you'll be all right, don't worry about that. And I'll say it once again, you don't need to be suffering and eating only like healthy so-called foods during the day. You can always take out of your five meals per day, you can always take one meal that's like flexible in terms of macronutrients and micros. So in my opinion, the best overall approach is 80% healthy foods, 20% like flexible dieting, which is if it fits your macros, that way you'll, your body will stay healthy and it will be able to recover. And also you'll stay sane and mentally sharp if you give yourself some, some little breaks during the day. So click the like button if you found this informative. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this topic. And also stay tuned in my next episode so turn the post notifications on so you can see my next upload. On the next episode, I will be going even more in depth with the dieting. So if you're really serious about your building your physique and maintaining a healthy lifestyle, keep watching and stay tuned. And until next time, stay shredded.